Alrighty, so yesterday I put up the ALCS super team and you guys hit that like goal of 200 likes that I set for you guys. So I promised you guys an NLCS super team. And here we are. We're going to do the Nationals and the Cardinals together. The Nationals currently have a two to nothing lead on the Cardinals. And I think I think the Nationals have this one in the bag. I think this team looks really good. And um, I think when you combine the two teams, the super team doesn't look too bad. The bullpen's a little suspect. We'll talk about that in a sec. But if you guys are still enjoying these super teams, hit the like button down below. 200 likes and I'll do another super team tomorrow. Let me know which one you want to see in the comment section down below. Other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe. Come on notification bell icon make sure you hit it so you're notified whenever a video does go live other than that guys let's hop into the super team this one it has some sneaky good players in it but i don't know if it's as good as the california super team all right so let's take a look at this team because what we have assembled here the starting rotation looks amazing offensively some really solid players like i've mentioned the bullpen is a little suspect though so let's take a look see what we have here because i like the team i think it's a really good team i just don't know if it's up there with like that california super team that still reigns number one in every single one of our super teams so we have scherzer strasburg flaherty corbin and anibal sanchez you know i've looked at other starting pitchers for the cardinals and other options for the nationals and realistically anibal sanchez was probably still one of the better options available he threw a gem the other night and i figured you know what why not boost his stats just a little bit, make him an 82, and see how he does. So this is where we're sitting, but Scherzer, Strasburg, Flaherty, and Corbin, that's a pretty strong starting rotation. When we move to the bullpen, we have Jordan Hicks. I know he was injured, so he really wasn't part of the season. I mean, he threw about, what, half the season, but, you know, he's still, when he was healthy, still a really good arm. Marlos Cartinez, solid, solid pitcher. John Gant. Not too bad of a year for himself. John Brebbia had a good year. Giovanni Gallegos obviously had an amazing year. And then Daniel Hudson has been pretty good for the Nationals as well. There were other options as well, but like Andrew Miller struggled this year and a couple other names that could have been on the list. They just really struggled, so I didn't want to throw them in there. Sean Doolittle as our closer makes the most sense. Catcher, Yachty and Kurt Suzuki are the two best catchers out of the teams. Yachty actually had himself a pretty good season, um, but... We'll, we'll throw him in there anyways. Yachty, Yachty was the best catcher. Paul Goldschmidt at first base, easily the choice there. Colton Wong and Howie Kendrick. Howie Kendrick, oh, that grand slam against the Dodgers. Talk about clutch. But Colton Wong had himself a season as well, and that's why I picked these two guys at second. At third, I went with Rendon and Esdrubal Cabrera. Matt Carpenter struggled quite a bit, and Esdrubal Cabrera was a pretty solid pickup for the Nationals. So between Rendon, who's one of the best third basemen, if not one of the best players in baseball, I had to go with him. Shortstop, Trey Turner. And then I decided to go with an up-and-coming player for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. Yes, De Jong is there, but Tommy Edmond's really proven. He can play the infield. He can play the outfield. He's been, he's been a little bit of a good piece for the Cardinals, and I kind of like the looks of him, which sucks. As a Cubs fan, I don't really want to see good young players going to the Cardinals, but he looks pretty solid. In left field, we have Soto and Ozuna. I think this is oh, ooh, it's going to be some crazy power numbers there. Soto, I decided to give him 99 discipline, 99 vision. A lot of you guys brought that up to me that he should. And I, you know what? I agree with you guys. He's he's looking like a really good star. And then you have Ozuna backing him up. Or maybe even moving him to right. We'll see. Robles in center, I think, was the best option between everybody there. Bader, Fowler, not really too strong of center fielders this season. We're going to go with Victor Robles. And in right field, still very consistent. Adam Eaton. Um, we'll use him as a platoon option. So when we take a look at the pitching rotation, this is our starting rotation. Very good bullpen couple 70s do worry me but for the most part i do like the back half of the bullpen looking at martinez or uh carlo no marlos cartinez and sean doolittle when we look at the lineup this is what we're kind of working with um i'm gonna move eaton out i'm gonna go to ozuna and then maybe in the dh spot we go with someone with mm, maybe like a as rubel cabrera sounds crazy but maybe he's, well, we'll leave Eaton in. Might as well. Might as well. We'll, we'll kind of rock with that. I'm going to move players around. But it's this is what we're mostly going to be looking like. Turner, Ozuna, Rendon, Soto. We're going to move Goldschmidt up a little bit. And we're kind of 
we're gonna look like this this is gonna be the main starting lineup and then these guys are gonna be our bench bats so this is the team it looks really solid offensively i like it victor robles the only player in the starting lineup under 80 but he should hit that by the end of the season anyways and then we got some really solid bench bats who hit for good contact and probably a little bit of sneaky power too so i'm excited about this team offensively looks good starting rotation looks good that bullpen's the question mark here so can we do it i don't know maybe this is the team that does it that starting rotation might carry us let's hop into it see how this season finishes 106 and 56 like we and there were some games where you know probably like there were some some streaks in the season where we kind of face a little bit of a tough spot like this right here between the mets and the reds if we would have picked up a couple of those games if we didn't lose to the orioles um this definitely could have been a 110 win team maybe even a little bit more um yeah there's some teams we definitely like the tigers come on you know you see those games and you're like those should have been wins and we definitely could have we, we could have been that team so we're ranked first overall first in contact first in pitching but then when you look at the rest of our stats we're 11th in speed 13th in defense and 23rd in power but um average slugging on base percentage era looks really good so i'm kind of excited to see how we rank between all the teams wins I think we're the most, whoa, whoa, 113? Oh, ho. <clears throat> excuse me, whoa, 113 wins. Well, let's, like a, let's take a look, see how we did ranking-wise. Second for batting average. So yeah, second for batting average. Not up there for at-bats, which is fine. Runs, no. Fourth for hits. Uh, third for triples, okay. And then home runs were not up there. Ooh, do we even crack? Where are we? 23rd? Are you kidding me? Runs batted in. So maybe offensively, we stalled out a little bit. We had the most stolen bases. Trey Turner had 60, so he kind of carried the team there. Um, but yeah, maybe the pitching kind of carried the team. Maybe offense wasn't crazy power production but let's take a look at league leaders stolen bases like we've mentioned and then pitching i'm assuming pitching went very very well awards let's take a look gold glove juan soto with a gold glove okay cy young for strasburg and doolittle had the delivery man of the year so let's take a look at our pitching because i'm assuming it went really well scherzer amazing stats unreal and then strasburg had a better year mm. excuse me i don't know he had a good year don't get me wrong but i don't know if it was uh better than scherzer's we got flaherty solid season corbin solid season even annabelle sanchez as our fifth man of the rotation had a pretty good year as well john gant have yourself a season there we go we had john brebia Gallego struggled a little bit. Hudson struggled. Hicks was good. Marlos Cartinez had a really good year as a setup guy. And Sean Doolittle was lights out. Holy cow. I like that a lot. I like to see that. So let's take a look at our lineup. See how things went on the bench. Kurt Suzuki struggled a bit. Uh, Edmund did well. And then you guys can see these two did pretty solid as well. When we take a look at our starting lineup, Trey Turner had himself a season. On base percentage to the roof. Average is high. Doubles are up there. Stolen bases, crazy good. Eaton had himself a pretty solid season as like our platoon outfielder. Uh, Rendon was solid. Only 26 home runs though. I'm used to seeing him hit around 30. And 30 doubles is pretty solid. Juan Soto had 28 home runs, 101 RBIs, 33 doubles. So a good year for him as well. Even 19 stolen bases. Okay. Marcelo Zuna, respectable numbers. Very good. 31 doubles too. Love to see it. Paul Goldschmidt, 28 home runs at 98 RBIs. Good year. 34 doubles, 312 average. I moved him up in the lineup for every other lineup besides this one. So I kind of messed up on that part. Yachty had himself a year, even though he's a 69 overall. Nice. Solid numbers. Colton Wong, not bad, not bad, not great. But definitely would love to see that average a little bit higher. And Victor Robles is an 84. And he had himself a good year. 23 doubles. 19 home runs, 67 RBIs, not terrible at all. Two off of being nice for that RBI tally. So this is the team. That's how things went. Pretty solid. It's just power numbers weren't there. We're taking on the Reds. And uh, 
we advance so no no worries there we're gonna move the starting rotation around so that we can have our strongest foot forward and uh let's get into it so it should be scherzer versus bueller scherzer got roughed up a little bit last time and uh it's looking like he's struggling this postseason we won the second hmm and we're facing elimination after losing a 12 to 1 yikes oh boy let's uh let's hop into this one we're gonna have we're gonna have scherzer go yadi's a little tired so i'm gonna go to kurt suzuki for this game i know it's crazy call me crazy but we're gonna do it and then we're gonna go with the regular lineup so looking at their team it looks the same nothing's really changed yeah nothing's really changed there we just need a good outing from scherzer as I say that, we allow a home run. As usual, Juan Soto ties it up, though, so that's good. Um, what is with the aces just dropping the ball in the postseason? Like, I feel like that's a little common theme lately, and I don't like it. I'm getting gypped here. I'm getting absolutely screwed. We do have a tie ball game, though, so I do like to see that. Um, gets us out of it. Probably just going to go five with Scherzer as we take the lead so that's a that's a good little hey good job dude have yourself a nice little little break now um we don't have a lot of lefties this could be a problem i thought i had another lefty corbin just pitched so that i was thinking about going to him but uh i guess we go to gant and hope he can hold down the fort for just a couple innings for us unless we can get a lead here which we got a two run lead now i'll take that um, can Gant give me just one more? If he can give me one more, we're set, which is good. He actually did. So nothing happens there. Jant. Oh, okay. I said Jant. I meant Gant. Gant actually got us a little bit more than I bargained for, but um, I will take it for sure. We're going to go to Doolittle and he's going to shut the door and we're going to go forward with the next game. Perfect. Love it. Next game. Here we go. We're going to go Strasburg versus, I don't know what Kershaw probably. Since we're not going to catch a break here, Strasburg versus Bueller. I mean, that's not much easier. So it's going to be a tough one. We're down one. Runners at the corners. Just bring it in, Yachty. Does his job. Got to love it. Perfect. Oh! You saw that. You saw that. That, yeah. Strasburg just went deep. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta love it. And we're up three to one. Yes. Screw you, Bellinger. I don't need this. I don't need you raining on my parade right now. Strasburg just went deep. All right. Come on. Just give me like one. Mm, just might have to call it after four for Strasburg, unfortunately. Yeah, he's done. Um, How's Corbin looking? Corbin's looking a little healthier. Let's uh, not do that, right? Yeah, I love it. Is this, is this the season? Is this the season right here? Gallegos is getting destroyed. Man, that was that was a rough one. I thought maybe going to the lefty was the right move, but apparently it just wasn't. So, Rendon brings us within three. Gotta like it. Come on, one more run. Ah, couldn't get it. That's all right. Come on, get us out of this. Please get us out of this. All right. Marlos, Cartinez, stop sucking. Stop sucking, please. Anybody, just get us out of this inning. <sighs> like, I don't... What else are we gonna... What else are we gonna do here? I really don't know. Um... It's just not meant to be, right? I just... I can't catch a break. You know, it's just... I got too excited with the Strasburg home run. Oh, man. <sighs> well, let's take a look. Offensively, we were there. Colton Wong, not so much. Colton Wong, not so much. Overall, everybody else, though, pitched well. Jack Flaherty struggled. Corbin struggled. And that was actually just that one inning that he pitched. Scherzer got roughed up a little bit. Our uh, bullpen got roughed up a lot and that was my question mark was our bullpen gonna be able to hold their own 
and unfortunately they weren't they, they kind of let us down in that dodgers matchup obviously the dodgers are a really good team and it looks like you have to break that team up for them to not win so that that's just what you got to do so i hope you guys enjoyed the nlcs super team if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content like i've mentioned many times make sure you turn on bell notification icon so you're notified whenever a video does go live also leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see in the future and also do you think the cardinals have it in them to pull this series back down two to nothing it's possible i've seen crazier i'm a cubs fan i've seen crazier so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you all in the next one peace